Are we in a recession? Is the US about to experience a market crash? And if that happens, where does that leave small businesses and solo entrepreneurs like you who are working in the coaching and consulting space? Hey, this is Lori Gachenga, founder and CEO of Viral Growth Media, and VGM specializes in helping small businesses and solopreneurs in the coaching and consulting space fortify their business foundations so they can actually grow and scale their businesses and increase their revenue up to six and seven figures every single month. Recently, we've been getting a lot of questions from our clients based in the United States about this exact topic. Are we going into a recession? Are we going to lose money? What's going to happen to our business if there's a market crash? First, let's tackle the question, are we in a recession? A recession by definition is two consecutive quarters of economic decline. And we've had two. In the first quarter this year, GDP dropped by 1.6%. And just last July, it was announced that it dropped again by 0.9%. If we're going by technical definitions, we are in a recession. However, the NBER or National Bureau of Economic Research, which determines whether the US is in a recession, hasn't officially said anything. And the White House seems to be avoiding the term altogether. But whether we're calling it a recession or not, the fact is we have been in an economic decline in the last two quarters. And economists have acknowledged that parts of the economy are already slowing down. That means that a market crash is a very real possibility. Market crashes are when there's a drastic drop in stock market prices and it actually has caused big million and billion dollar companies to close down and it's usually followed by an even longer stretch of recession. It's a scary thought, but I'm going to give you some comfort right now. Market crashes and the recession can actually be a very good thing for smaller businesses like yours if you're smart about it and know what to do. A lot of really great companies emerge during a market crash and recession. We're talking big name companies like Netflix, Revlon, GE, Microsoft, and Uber. You know why? Because when these huge companies that are essentially monetizing the market shut down, it creates a space for smaller businesses to come up. And if you're smart about it, you can actually make millions. So what can you as a coach or consultant do to make sure your business stays afloat during the recession and possible market crash and even make more money? Here are our top 10 tips. Number one, don't panic. Panicking is of course a very human reaction when something happens that could be a real threat to your financial security. You know, it's not just the money. It's the thought of not being able to take care of ourselves and our loved ones. But the thing is, if you let that panic take over, you are more prone to making really bad decisions. People either hold on to their money when they should be investing, let go of opportunities out of fear, or spend on something that they actually shouldn't. So you don't want to be in this boat. If you want to panic, then give yourself that time and space, but never make decisions decisions, especially decisions concerning your business and money while you're in that state. Learn to recognize if you're operating or making decisions out of fear rather than sound logic. And if you're still unsure, ask people you can trust. You know, this brings us to our second tip. Number two, look for support. Being a small business owner during a recession or market crash is not the time to try to do everything on your own. You will need all the support you can get. You have your colleagues and your employees at your business and you have your family, but it's also good to build a support system outside of your immediate circle. Now remember, you are not the only business going through a recession. Every business out there is. They know exactly what you're feeling and what you're going through. You can discuss and share tips. You may even have a chance to explore new opportunities that could help you and another business. Join groups, join communities as early as right now. If you're interested, we actually have a group over on Facebook. I'll put the link below and we actually have a bunch of coaches and consultants there who often share their situations and everyone comes together to give some advice. But 
even if you don't want to do that, just don't close yourself off to others. This is the time when you need all the support you can get. Number three, emerge as a leader. Recessions and market crashes are a time when there's so much uncertainty, not just within your business, but within the world as a whole. You know, during this time, everyone is looking for someone who will step up and be willing to help and get people through the tough times. You know, people are looking for a leader. If you haven't been acting like a leader in your own business, now is the time to step up. We are talking about real leaders, not just someone who has something inspirational to say. Show up when you tell people you'll show up. Do what you promise to do for your clients and your team and be the one who gives your team the confidence, guidance, and development that they need to direct your business towards success. When you show up for your business, you're going to see that. Clients are going to see that. Investors are going to see that and they'll know that in this age where there's a lot of uncertainty, they can depend on you to do the work. Four, find your why. When I ask you this question, I'm not asking about why you're doing this for your client or your company's mission and vision. I'm asking you why you're doing this for yourself, just you. Not because you had a great idea that would make others' lives better or you want to promote a method that you think will do the world good. Why are you doing this for yourself? And look, there are no wrong answers here. Maybe you want to be able to retire at 50 or you have the capacity to help out your family or or even just be able to take more vacations and enjoy life more whatever that why is that is what's going to keep you going that's what's going to motivate you to work harder and reach for greater heights so discover your why and use it to push yourself every single fucking day five stop unnecessary spending okay review everything that you're spending your money on from utilities to your marketing materials to your daily coffee and people on your payroll it's still a recession. So it's important to make sure that all your money only goes to resources that are absolutely necessary for you to operate and bring in revenue. This is especially true for small businesses that may not have the same cash flow as bigger businesses in your industry. You know, you want to make sure that you're not spending more than you can and keep your situation realistic. Maybe you can't buy everyone on your team Starbucks in the morning anymore. What's important is that your business stays open and they can keep their jobs. Number six, keep an eye out for discounts. You know what else happens in a recession? Prices go down. Services, stocks, or products that you weren't able to afford may be within your reach now. So if you've been good at handling your cash before the recession started, your decision to save is about to pay off big time. But again, study what you're buying. Don't just purchase something because it's cheaper or you can actually actually finally afford it. Think about how it will help you and your business in your current state and whether it will actually bring in revenue or just give you more problems. Seven, look out for talent. During a recession, there's a lot of movement in terms of employment. So there may be talent that's available that wasn't available to you before. And if you have a person in mind or even just a job position in mind that you know will add more value to your team and business, now is a good time to get in touch with that person or put out a job ad. Eight, build yourself up. During this time, people are a lot more careful about spending. Just as you're making sure every time money goes out, it's for something that is necessary and worthwhile, everyone else is doing the same. So make sure you and your business are necessary and worthwhile investments. You know, build yourself up either by reading more books, taking on more skills, or improving your services so that you offer more value to the customer. Show them that your business is worth investing in. Nine, always be on the lookout for opportunities. You know, a lot of changes can occur during a recession or market crash. Businesses, especially big companies, may close down or downsize. You know, there's a lot of movement, which means there are a lot of opportunities. Clients may be looking for new businesses to work with, or there may be opportunities for collaboration and mergers. Be on the lookout and be ready so that when an opportunity comes up, you can actually move to it quickly. 10, work hard and smart. So this feels like a common sense thing, but we can't not include it. It's going to be a hard 
overtime and you may need to work harder than you would with a booming economy. But that doesn't mean your entire life should revolve around your business and leave everything behind. You need to couple working hard with working smart so you can still achieve that balance. This time is a litmus test on which businesses are offering real value versus those that are relying on hype and flashiness. You know, the good news is recessions and market crashes are typically followed by long periods of economic growth. So if you're to survive and thrive through this, you are bound for success in even greater heights. Let us know about how your business is doing right now. We want to hear about your own experience in the comments below. And if you want, you can also book a consultation call with us. I'll include the link to our calendar below and our brand experts can give you some advice and tips about how you can actually better cope during this time and some changes you can actually make. Subscribe to our channel, click the notification button so you don't miss out on our next videos. I'll see you guys then.